Hello, everyone. So this is one uh, real case study for the Seagate Rosewood EB01. And the family for this pension drive is AF. Now we can see for this drive, the failure symptom is capacity zero. So in order to fix this capacity zero, firmware corruption, we need to unlock this firmware error first by writing unlock ROM. And within the DFL Seagate HDD repair tool, and we can find out one function called generate unlock ROM. After we generate this unlock ROM, we can write this unlock ROM to this pension drive. And next, we need to power off and power on. And then we go to this COM terminal and click send unlock key. After that, we can go to the COM terminal and confirm by entering the F3T prompt and then control L. If we can find out all the hard drive ID information successfully without displaying the diagnostic port locked, that means the firmware error has been unlocked successfully. So after that, after the firmware error is unlocked successfully, users need to go to the SA operations. SA operations means the firmware error operations. All firmware error read and write operations will be available here under this menu. So we go to the SA operations, click read as well as files and then we can back up the important SYS files. After we back up the important SYS files, we can then come to the COM terminal to clear the genist, clear the smart, and then we can try to view the genist to confirm the entries returned by the command and the entries number will be available users can write that number down after that users can regenerate the translator after regenerating the translator Users can view the entry list again to confirm the number of the entries. To see if the engine list entries number has been changed a lot. If changed, we need to write back the original engine list. And then we need to Regenerate the translator again to make sure the engine is the entries number is not changed. These operations will avoid the partial sector access problem. Now we need to wait until the translator regeneration completes because we can see there are a lot of read errors a bit LBA read errors. So we need to wait until these errors come to an end. So we still need to wait. Right now we can see the capacity is still zero. Now we can see TCC means this LB read error should be completed and then the transient regeneration will continue. So sometimes for this kind of pension drive 
users need to be patient. Before the translate regeneration, we can check the engineer's entry number. Here, it's three entries. Now, after the translator regeneration, uh, we can check there are some RW error. So this really means so it's zero entries. Now for this candle of rosewood. Uh, we can go to the defect management, initialize ID by its com mode, and we need to check the major catch. Click modify. Now uh, we need to go to read again. Okay, this means it has been written successfully and we can view the engineers again. Zero entries. So so there are some problems for this one. We can go to the edit SOS file. We need to try to write the SOS file. We can try to write again. So it shows failed. Failed means the way for zero, still zero entries. Now, how can we learn it is successfully written? We can try to write the original engineist in ATA mode. Now we can go to confirm. Okay, so this means it's successfully written and we need to clear the V4 again and then regenerate the translator again. This one is important because these entries are the original entries, a lot transferred from the genius. So we need to keep these entries. We cannot clear it or, you know, sometimes the translator regeneration will automatically clear the V for zero. So at this time, we need to write back the original engineers to keep the original defects to make sure the translator re regeneration completes correctly. Now we need to wait again.
Another transcendent array generation completes. Still three entries. We can go to ATA mode. So uh, we can go to check the data arrow. So capacity is normal now. And we can check the ending part of the LVA to see if the data arrow is accessible or not. Now we can see that all those sectors are accessible. This means this drive has been perfectly fixed and its capacity is normal and data.